Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the merge all operator. So, what is this merge all operator? Merge all operator, if you try to read the definition, converts a higher order observable into a first order observable which concurrently delivers all the values that are emitted in the inner observables. So, that means, so now we have a stream of inner observables and and see if we, we have a stream of inner observables now the merge all if you observe if you, if you apply the merge all operator so first it will it will it will concurrently so that means at a time it will subscribe to all the inner observables whichever emit the data first it will just this uh, emit it to the output observable so that is the uh, meaning of the merge all whatever the inner observables you are having it will subscribe to all the inner observables at a time and whoever emits the data first so it will directly send it to the output observable now, if you try to see the parameter, it will take only one parameter that is a concurrent. So, here concurrent means nothing but what I can say is how many inner observables I need to subscribe at a time. So, you can also mention the number of observables to subscribe to the observables at a time. So, normally if you if you give, if you do, if it does not give any concurrent means infinity. So, it will subscribe to all the inner observables. If you mention the number means it will subscribe at a time only two observables. If you mention two means two honor observables only it will subscribe so first it will emit all the values that is that are emitted by the two observables if any of if any one of the observable is finished means then it will go to the third one so like that it will take the at a time two observables only it will it will sub subscribe so that is a merge all operator if you if you try to see this uh, what i can say marble diagram here we are having two inner observables so if you apply the merge all operator what it will try to do is now it will subscribe at a time to the to these two observables at a time now whoever emits the data first it will say directly send it to the output observable so here a b c and in between c and d e is emitted so that is the reason e came first so d and after d f g came so whoever emits the value first any regarding any observable it will be emitted to the output observable so like this so this is about the merge all operator now if you try to see the practical implementation of this one now here i am creating ng gc pages slash merge all operator right so now let me try to create so let's go to the operators dot component dot html and here i will try to create merge all so here merge all and i can write here merge all and another one is the app routing and here also what i will try to do is so merge all here i can add merge all and here also merge all okay that's it so now what i will try to do is let's go to the let's save this one yeah so merge all operator a component a ts now let's say that i have a source observable so interval of 1000 okay so this one is having interval of 1000 and what i will try to do here i will take only pipe of take of 5 only only 5 values let's take now what i will do is here source dollar dot pipe okay I will apply a map operator in a such a way that okay so here if you try to see map operator and this map operator will try to send the interval of will try to send interval of 500 or something like this or otherwise 1000 let's say so this one again uh, sends an observable okay this interval for each value emitted by the parent interval it again sends an creates an inner inner interval observable child observable now if i subscribe to this one so or otherwise what i can do is here i can do pipe of here also i will try to take 5 only okay and i will subscribe to this one so if i subscribe to this one now let's try to see what will happen okay now if i try to see the output here if I try to open this one, let's go to the merge all. Okay, here if I try to see, we will be able to see the observables, right? Now, in order to 
print the values what are the observabilities having so what we can do is here i can do merge all i can use this merge all now what does this merge all will do is if we try to see the output let's try to refresh yeah if we try to see the output now what will happen let's try to see now 0 1 0 1 so these are all going to be printed at a time so what are whatever the inner observables we are trying to create right so here whatever the inner observables are creating automatically whoever emits the data first it is trying to emit the data to the output observable now what i will try to do is so here i will try to create a map operator so that we will be able to understand okay well here i will be using the well and here i will try to print something like parent interval okay with value so i will try to print the value and child interval of dollar val just i want i am printing the string notation okay now if you try to see first the parent interval so here parent interval 0 is emitted and child interval 0 has executed again you will be able to see that parent interval with 1 has executed so 0 1 2 like this so whoever emits the data first so that that will be outputted so this is the thing now if you try to mention this concurrent value for example i want to take only one now it will subscribe only to the one interval at a child interval at a time now if you try to see here parent interval with zero will be printed so when this so now it has subscribed to the inner observable first so when this all zero everything is finished then it will try to print the one value okay so this so now one value is printed so like this it will subscribe only to the one value one interval at a time now if you try to give two means so now here it will it will subscribe to the child interval only two intervals at a time if you try to see here 0 and 1 whoever emits the value of 0 and 1 it will subscribe to the 0 and 1 and it will print the 0 and 1 values when any of the 0 or 1 is finished it means again it will subscribe to the second one now it subscribe to the third one so like this merge all operator will be working so this is about the merge all operator so merge all operator what it will try to do is it will subscribe to all the inner observables whatever the inner observables you are having it subscribes to all the inner observables and now this inner observable whoever emits the data first so that will be outputted to the subscribe method so this is about the merge all if you mention any parameter or anything means so it will subscribe to only these many inner observables only so after any of the observable is finished means again it will go for the and so that the count it will maintain the uh, maximum number of subscription it will maintain only the fixed count that count whatever the count you have mentioned it will maintain the subscription that much intervals only so this is about the merge merge all operator so in next videos i will show you about what is this merge operator merge map and merge all so where we will be using these things also i will try to make one video so that you will understand these uh, things very easily hope you understood about this merge all operator if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.